Howdy folks, I'm Ben Starr, the ultimate food geek. Welcome back to my messy kitchen. I wanna briefly cover the technique for clarifying your stock or making it crystal clear because as our stock is right now, it's not very clear, it's cloudy. Of course, it's cloudy with flavor, and the clearer you make your stock, the more flavor you strip out of it. So I actually don't recommend doing this unless presentation is more important than flavor, and there are very few times where that's the case. But the classical consomme, or a crystal clear broth, is occasionally something that you'll want to produce for a special occasion. And I do have a birthday this week where I'm serving a really beautiful wonton soup, and I want those handmade wontons to float in that nice crystal clear broth for a formal occasion. Now if you're not familiar with this technique, it's going to look and sound super weird, but it actually works. For every quart or liter of stock that you want to clarify, you're going to use two egg whites, a couple of teaspoons of water, half of a teaspoon of vinegar, any type, and the crushed up egg shells from the eggs. Super weird, right? This is actually going to create a natural filter that our stock is going to flow through. It's gonna capture all those solid particles that are keeping the stock from being clear. So as you warm up your stock and it gets about body temperature or slightly around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna pour these ingredients into the stock. Give it a nice stir and then continue to heat over medium to medium high heat and you'll start to notice an unusual transition take place the warmer the stock gets. As the mixture heats, give a gentle stir every now and then, scraping securely and firmly along the bottom of the pot just to make sure you're not scorching any of those egg whites or shells. But don't stir vigorously because these whites are coming together to create a filter for our stock and we don't want to break them up too much. When your stock comes to a simmer, reduce the heat and maintain that simmer for about five minutes. You don't want a rolling boil, just a nice simmer. That stock is sending up all those impurities through the top of that raft and it's filtering it out. So you want that to happen nice and gently. 20 minutes later and our egg filter has definitely solidified and you can see from the stock floating on top of it that we've achieved pretty significant clarification. Now what we want to do is very gently remove the majority of the egg raft with a slotted spoon. And you want to be as gentle as possible while you do this because you don't want to break that egg raft up into smaller pieces that will go back and make your stock cloudy again, right? So, easy does it, nice and slow as you're removing these. At the end, we'll be able to dump the rest of this raft and filter out any extra consomme so that we don't lose a drop. Once the majority of the egg filter is removed, you can gently ladle the stock through some cheesecloth, or in this case, I'm just using a damp flour sack towel. I use these all around my kitchen. They have a lot of really great uses. You can even use an old t-shirt if you don't have anything better around. And again, the key here is nice, gentle movements because you don't want to break that raft up any more than you have to into tiny particles that will make our stock cloudy again. When you start to accumulate a decent amount of egg white in that filter, you can rinse out the flour sack towel and start over. Now this method is actually going to filter out the majority of the fat that was left in your stock. But if you absolutely can't have any of that delicate fat floating on top, which does add richness and flavor, but it does detract from the clarity of the stock. Just refrigerate it overnight after this, and then you'll be able to skim that coagulated fat off of the top of your stock. When you get down to a point where it's feasible for you to do so safely, you can delicately pour the rest of that stock through the filter. And there we have it, our beautifully clarified stock. The difference is pretty stark, right? Now, as I mentioned before, when you remove the solids from the stock, you also sacrifice flavor. I'm actually going to do a direct taste test, and I've never done this before. There's noticeably less flavor, but it's not so much that I think it ruins all of the hard effort that we put into it. And it certainly produces a more beautiful end result. I'm Ben Starr, the ultimate food geek. Hit me up on my website, benstar.com, and subscribe to my YouTube feed for more awesome cooking stuff. Thanks for watching.